Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm getting ready for church and I thought I would film a video. Yesterday I went shopping and um, I, my mom found this for me and I'm so excited. And I wanted to use them today but I wanted to film, um, film myself using them for the first time. So I figured I would try to make a video while getting ready. But this is a full set. It, they look like the Artiste brushes. Um, I paid $40 for this whole set. Uh, and this is the True Beauty Mermaid Luxe 10 Piece Makeup Brush Set. I love that it's called Mermaid. Like, I don't know why it's called Mermaid, but it makes me like it even more. I have, uh, I just wanted to show you what they look like in the box, but I have had them out and like was feeling them and stuff. I actually uh, reached inside the box to feel them um, before I bought them, and they are super soft and dense. But like I said, I paid $40 for the kit. You can tell a little bit more about what they look like here. So I'm just going to pop them all out real quick. So I have them all popped out. And here is the biggest one. That was my computer dinging. But here's the largest one. It's very soft, very dense. And I love that it has rose gold, um, a rose gold handle on it. But then this part is rubber so you can get a really good grip. But there are, like I said, 10 different ones, various sizes. I'm going to try to use as many as possible today. Some of these I'm not really sure how you're supposed to use, but we're going to go with it. I just now washed my hair, so that's why it's just kind of like not doing anything. But I'm just going to stick it back out of the way. Get it out of my face. I can't stand having any hair in my face when I go to get ready. So this is kind of just like a get ready with me slash first impression. First, I'm just going to moisturize, and I'm just using my Neutrogena Triple Age Repair. Okay, so usually, I always do my eyes first, so I'm just going to do that and go with my normal routine. I'm going to zoom you all in. Okay, so I kind of got you zoomed in, but I'm just going to take my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and pop that on my lids. The concealer's on, and normally I'll take my beauty blender and just kind of blend it out a little. But, I'm going to try to use one of these. I'm not really sure. Maybe like one of these like flat ones. Let's see. Yeah, that's actually working pretty good. I like it. It doesn't pick up as much product as the beauty blender, which sometimes... Uh, aggravates me when I am doing this part because I want it to be a little bit thicker and really put a good base down for my eyeshadow. Okay, so for my eyeshadow look, I'm just going to do something simple today. Uh, I'm going to use my Makeup Geek um, single eyeshadows. That's what I'm trying to think of. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do, let me see. How am I going to do this? Okay, so I'm going to go into Makeup Geek uh, Sorbet. It's just this really light pink. And I am just going to sweep that all over. Okay, so right away I can tell I don't like this for eyeshadow at least not this brush so I'm just going to grab just going to grab my eye brushes here my regular eye brushes and just take my flat um wet and wild uh shader brush and just quickly pop this color all over the lid yeah that's much faster much easier so I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to be using for eyeshadow, but I kind of figured that, but we'll still give it a go. We'll see. Okay, now I'm going to go into Cupcake. Now, all my eyeshadows I'm using today are going to be Makeup Geek, so I'm not going to say Makeup Geek this every time, because so, that would just get aggravating, but Cupcake is what I'm using next, and I'm going to go in, I'm going to go with this little one, it's kind of like rounded a little, and I'm going to see how well this works for like in the crease. If I'm like looking down my mirrors down here, I can't hardly 
I mean, I could do it in the viewfinder, but I can't see it as good. So, I'm sorry if you feel like I'm not paying attention to you. I promise I am. I'm just trying to do this the best I can. Like I said, I do have church, so I don't want to look crazy. I'm going to go in with that same brush and go into Wisteria, which is just a little bit of a darker purple. And kind of focus this on the outer corner. One thing I will say is where these are so like densely packed, they're soft, but they're dense. It does do a little bit of pulling on the eyes. So I probably will not be doing a whole lot of eyeshadow work with these. But I think for other things I'm going to love them. Now like the inner corner I think this would be great to like put an inner corner highlight because I like a denser brush when I do that because I really like to pack that on. But just for blending like this I feel like it's a lot of rubbing and it's almost making my eye, um, eyelids sore. So I'm just going to grab one of my regular uh, brushes and just kind of, yeah a lot softer and it isn't pulling and a lot faster so I'm going to say these are a pass for eyeshadow which I always kind of thought that with the Artiste brushes too because like you never really see anyone doing much eyeshadow with them and when you do like it kind of looks awkward but I thought I would try it anyway but like I said I am going to church so I want to look nice so I'm just going to go in with my regular brushes and finished my eyes up. So I finished my eyeshadow up off camera because I wasn't using those brushes to do it. So the next thing I'm a little bit nervous about but excited. I'm going to take the smallest like flat brush and I'm going to apply my cream eyeliner. Um, I think I'll do okay at this because I, I used a brush to apply my um, eyeliner anyway. So it's just a different shape. So I'm a little bit nervous because it could mess everything up but um, I think I think I'll be okay. Okay, so I have it on there and I'm just going to... Oh, I'm nervous. Ooh, why can't you do this? This is awkward. Very awkward. No, negative. I cannot get like a like straight line. Let me try this eye. It might be easier. Okay, now this eye I did really easy. Okay, so I went in and added the wings. Uh, they don't match, but I added them anyway. And thickened my line up a little bit more. Okay, so I didn't hate it for that, but I don't know. I started using like my little brush again, and I just felt like I had a lot more control. So, mm, I'm not sure. Okay, so next I'm going to start doing my face, like face makeup, which is where I'm really excited to use these. I kind of thought like these little awkward brushes like this, I wasn't for sure what I was going to do with. Um, but like the bigger face brushes, I'm, I'm excited. Okay, so I'm just going to take my concealer and... Put that underneath my eye, like my nose, a little bit on my forehead. Okay, so for that, I'm going to use this one and just start blending this out. Okay, so right off, I'm noticing that you get a lot more coverage with these than you do a beauty blender. Which, I mean, you know, the beauty blender does take away some product, so that's normal. And you're going to get like a more natural finish with the beauty blender. But if you are like into full coverage makeup, which I am, I just, I don't know, I'm, I'm so used to using a beauty blender. I just guess I never think about it. But if you're into that, this is good. I'm happy with that, guys. I like that. Especially like around the nose. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, so I'm going to go with my foundation now. Okay, for my foundation, I'm just going to use my True Match Lumi, something I use all the time so I can really get an idea. Now one thing, I feel like just dipping my brush in here is going to soak it up, so I am going to dot it on my face, which normally I don't do, but it takes a while. This foundation doesn't set really fast, 
So it should be fine, I would think. And then whatever I can't get off with my fingers, I'm just going to wipe the brush. Okay, so here it goes. Oh my gosh, that is like so smooth. That like puts your foundation on almost instantly. This is crazy guys. I see why people like these brushes. Well, obviously, they get the Artiste brushes, but like this type of brush, it just makes it go on like effortlessly. You feel like it's just, I don't know. I'm liking it. Okay, so definitely give this one a 10 out of 10. It doesn't look like it soaked up hardly any product. Um, Really just put it on flawlessly and yeah. I love this. I'm definitely going to continue to use this. It doesn't feel like wet and goopy. Like it just feels like it's clean, which is so weird. Like it doesn't, I thought that I would have to like wash it after each use, but I wouldn't have to. Like obviously after you use it a few times, it's going to build up, but it doesn't even feel like there's anything on it. I love that. That's awesome. Okay, so next I'm going to powder. And for that, I'm going to use this second biggest one. Um, and I'm just going to go into my Japanese powder first. And I'm just going to kind of go under the eye to begin with. I use a different powder all over my face, but I just wanted to do this to set the under eye. I feel like it's kind of like getting rid of any creases while you're doing it, because you're just kind of brushing over it. Yeah, I'm not mad at that at all. You can kind of get around the nose. Okay, so like this definitely for powder. Okay, now I'm going to... Where did my eyeliner go? Okay, so now I'm gonna go. Oh, I'm sorry. You around. I'm going to go back in with this little eyeliner brush that I use, and I'm going to try to do my bottom waterline, which I think I might actually really like this for. Okay, so definitely the verdict on this is that I'm not crazy about it just for doing my eyeliner, but it is great to do my waterline and top line. So yeah, that's awesome. Like I said, definitely love it for the tight lining. So now I'm going to go into my loose uh, face powder and I'm going to go in with that same brush I used for under my eyes and I'm just going to dip it in and I'm just going to kind of press it in areas. Okay so that did that perfectly like it put it on without leaving too much powder if that makes sense. It didn't make it cakey. It really just like buffed everything in. Yeah, I like that. Awesome. So I definitely love that brush for powdering. I knew I was going to like these for face products. Okay, so now it's when things get a little bit scary, but I'm going to go in with my contour and this is the third biggest brush and I'm just going to dip into my contour shade. And I'm going to start carving just a little bit. I don't do really harsh lines, so that's why I didn't use a little itty bitty one. I wanted something that I could kind of blend it out with. Hey guys, that ain't bad. I like that. So I'm going to go in with this brush that, uh, I had used originally to kind of blend out my uh, concealer on my eyelids or wipe it off. But I think I'm just going to use my regular, the one that I used to blend it out in my eye. And I'm going to dip this into the darkest shade, my contour shade here, and see how this is for contouring the nose. I feel like I'm going to like it. Oh my gosh, you can get so detailed. I don't know how much y'all can see this. Windows right here, so it might be glaring, but hopefully you can see that. If you want to get some detailed nose contour, this is awesome. I like it. I like it, like it, like it. I'm so excited. But it's awesome. 
And then just kind of blend it out with a bigger one. Gosh, that looks awesome. I like it. You probably can't see anything, but I take my word for it. It looks awesome. Okay, so for blush, I'm just going to take this little doodad. It's the uh, smallest one that's like this shape. And I'm just going to go into my Mellow Mauve by e.l.f. Just something I know always looks good. And apply. Okay, definitely liking this for blush as well. Like it adds everything so evenly, but without like putting on too much product where you look powdery. Like I don't feel like super powdery. I'm liking it guys. I'm liking everything. Super excited. Okay, so I'm not gonna use any of these for highlight. I just I like a brush like this for highlight, so I'm just going to go in with my regular brush and add that to the top of the cheeks. Okay, so I'm going to add my mascara and lashes and I will be right back. Okay, so I didn't add falsies. I was going to, but I don't know. I'm just not feeling it today. Too lazy. I've got allergies. I'm telling you. Driving me nuts. This weather's crazy. Like one day it's like. 67 degrees and then like tens in his 20s it's crazy okay so last but not least i'm going to go to my brow pomade with this brush here and try to do some brow work i'm a little nervous about this i'm not gonna lie but i'm just going to start very lightly like just not very much on there Ugh, i'm nervous <laughs> okay and just start carving it out Okay, no, not locking it. I can't get a sharp enough line, and I feel like it's going to smudge everywhere. I figured I would try it, but no. I'm just going to stick to my regular brow routine, which includes a small little angled brush. Okay, so I finished up my uh, eyebrows, and I didn't want to take a chance on messing them up last minute. So I have these YSL little sample lipsticks that I've had a long time and just have never used. I'm going to go with the nude one. It's called Lanou. And I want to try out this one brush. It's um, like the other little round one we had, only this one is flat. And I feel like it might be really good to do some lipstick. So we're going to try it out. My lips are so dry, guys. Okay, it's definitely working, but I want a different color. I want something pinker, so I'm going to go in with this Pinker Bell by Wet n Wild. And this is a little bit of a drier formula, so I'll be anxious to see how it does. Oh, it's picking it up, though. Let's see here. I like that. Guys, I like this. I think I would like this better than using the actual bullet. But I feel like you have more control. If that makes sense. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to fix my hair real quick. And I will be right back and give you my final thoughts on everything. So just sit down. Okay, so I got my hair fixed and I'm all ready for church. Uh, my mom's getting ready to pick me and the baby up. But anyway, last uh, thoughts. I think they're amazing. Definitely worth $40. Especially the face brushes. The packaging is gorgeous. I love rose gold, if you can't tell. Like, my headband's rose gold. I'll let my Michael Kors bracelet. My best friend, Autumn, uh, gave me this. And it's got the rose gold on it. She's awesome. But anyway, rabbit trail. Um, packaging is great. I love the soft touch uh, handle. Uh... I love all the brushes. The only ones that I would say you don't need, well, I mean, obviously you don't need any of them. I mean, you know, regular makeup brushes are fine. But, like, these funny shaped ones like this, um, they're a little bit hard. I do love this one for the waterline. These two, you know, I'll have to kind of think of what I want to use with these. Actually, no, you know what? I did love this one for nose contour. So, really, just this one. So, everything else I loved. Um, yeah, definitely worth $40. If you've been interested in the Artiste brushes, but you don't want to pay that much money for them, because I didn't want to, then definitely I would say these are a good buy. I forgot to add any corner highlight. 
I want to do that now. Okay, so anyway, definitely, definitely highly recommend these. They are amazing. I'm loving my makeup today. It looks natural, but still like flawless. And I'm, I'm just really, really happy with it. So I'm going to try to find these online. I got these at my Marshalls. So I don't know how easy they're going to be like just to find out. So I will try to find them online and link them below. If I don't forget, if I do forget, please leave me a comment reminding me to link it. Izzy, I know you always watch me so and you always comment. So if I forget to link that below, be a dear and let me know that I forgot. So yeah. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day. I'm getting ready to head to church. So, yeah, that is all. I say so, yeah, all the time. Missy, I know. Now you've said that. My Aunt Missy, she mentioned it. And, yeah, you've said that, and that's all I've noticed is that I say so, yeah, all the time, which I knew it anyway, but still. Okay, anyway, I love you guys. God bless. I will talk to you soon. Bye.